Joe Biden is purging Washington, D.C. of anyone not poisoned with his values. Many Americans who've been working for the White House a decade or more for presidents from both parties, well, they're now out of a job. As Church Milton's Hunter Bradford explores, Biden continues to politicize people's lives. On Wednesday, September 8th, Trump appointed federal advisors received a letter from White House Personnel Director Kathy Russell demanding their resignation or else they would be fired by 6 p.m. that same day. Biden's move is bizarre and unprecedented. Advisors have fixed appointed terms. They don't leave just because there's a new president in the White House. One of those getting the boot is Russ Vaught, former Trump administration budget director and founder of the Center for Renewing America. He tweeted a picture of the letter he received with his response, no, it's a three-year term. According to Thomas Emmanuel Dons, member of the Arctic Research Commission, for most of the Trump administration, his commission consisted entirely of Obama appointees, but Trump never canned any of them. Dons also pointed out this move reminded him of his days studying in the Soviet Union. Press Secretary Jen Psaki defended Biden's move. I will let others evaluate whether they think Kellyanne Conway and Sean Spicer and others were qualified or not political uh, to serve on these boards. Uh, but uh, the president's uh, qualification requirements are not your party registration. Uh, they are whether you're qualified to serve and whether uh, you're aligned with the values of this administration. This latest move by the White House has critics believing Joe Biden doesn't care about competence or expertise but wokeness in liberal ideology. Hunter Bradford, Church Milton Evening News, Detroit. Of those driven out of their jobs, 18 served on military academy boards with six from each branch. Some of those ousted, like Russ Vault, are highly qualified for their posts.